The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. Previously on Welcome to the Family. It's such a simple exercise, but it really, really works when you put your heart into it. First we left from the Leaf City and it was like a 45 minute boat ride. Let's go! We're all going to Mexico. Which Mexico? There's only one Mexico I know. <laughs> Travel. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. I get called all the time to do some crazy stuff. They'll always tell me, why don't you come to this part of the world and do a speech, talk about this and help our organization. And I received this call from Steven. We have a friend named Steven, who also used to be part of our team, but he moved to Tampa. And he said to me, Bert, I need to know if you can help me out by marrying me and my bride. And I said, wow, that would be an honor. So I said, yes. The reason why I was so honored to say yes is because I've seen Steven grow from being a baby to being the man that he is now. I put him under my wing for a few years and I saw him evolve. I'm over here doing this and you're over there doing that. <laughs> and I'm so proud of him and the choices that he's made in his life. Steven is not just a friend, he's part of my family. Sabrina, LJ, Bert, and I uh, headed over to Tampa and we decided to drive. We have all these vehicles, but she wants to take this little thing. <laughs> I hit myself so hard. I don't think this is gonna work out for a few hours. Yet. Six hours, half a day. On the road again. <laughs> again yeah. On the road again. This is what we signed up for. Oh, look at that. I'm glad you're gonna wear that tonight. It's perfect display. That's why Eric doesn't like the car. <laughs> Will we be able to use the convertible? Uh, yes. Yeah, because it's a box. We go under and then over to the red bank. Okay, okay, I think that's enough, guys. To yeah. so celebrate one of life's greatest moments as we give. Now you got me all nervous. And I had told Steven that I was going to be there like at 10 or noon or something like that because the wedding was at 5 o'clock that afternoon. Hello, Hello darling. Hello, I'm sitting in the car. We're in the car, we're getting ready to leave, so we should be there, what, four or five hours? He's like, what? Mind you, the wedding is at 5, and he calls me at 12 o'clock saying he's still in Miami. Send you guys straight there. Straight to the wedding? But yeah. we're not dressed. Oh my god. He's coming to my house and he's not dressed. So he can't go straight to the venue. He has to go to my house anyway. Don't worry, I'll be there in four hours. Don't worry about it. I'll be there. I'll fly. Alright, okay. right, give me your address. So I was already stressed out. He's freaking out. I had a fresh bottle of Crown Royale on my counter and I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna get in trouble, I'm gonna get drunk trouble. <laughs> so I started drinking. But you he's freaking out. He didn't even pick up your call. Holly. You're gonna give me a heart attack, you know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> you did that on purpose. Oh man, you guys, I swear I'm gonna kill you. Oh my god. He's like, oh my god, you people suck. I was like, no, they're not gonna do it. You pick up the phone. You're like, <laughs> you guys got me. You got me. <laughs> I'm gonna go start drinking. I'm gonna open up the beers. <laughs> I think the drunk I get, the better it'll be like when I get the. Where are they? The location where they decided to have the wedding venue was absolutely beautiful. It's where all the Cuban refugees got married at. It looked like an opera house. It was just really cool. It was built like in, I think, 1860 or something like that. So it has a, a history. Uh, Frank Sinatra was there before. Fred Astaire danced on that stage. So it's, it's a pretty historical building. So how are you feeling? Um, hungry, <laughs> thirsty. <laughs> it's good. It's a good day. You ready for this? I'm ready. The wedding itself was performed on stage which was really cool and everybody just looked absolutely beautiful and Stephen was really handsome I've waited a hundred years I'd wait a million more for you if I had only felt the warmth within your If I had only seen how you smile when you play. 
are here to give recognition to the warmth and beauty of love. If you love someone, you will be loyal to them no matter what. I thought the smoke was a little unusual for a wedding, but it was really cool. I mean, there were she was very creative in designing her wedding. I, I thought it was very creative. We saw pictures in rehearsal when we did it, and it made everything look like fire, and it looked so cool. But literally towards the end, I was like, <gasps> like it just so much fog kept coming up, and I'm like, everybody thinks this looks so cool, but we're suffocating. <laughs> we can't, <laughs> like I can't breathe. <laughs> I'm like, just smile, and maybe they won't know you're dying. I will love you in the so how we got? So how we got? Do you take Jamie to be your wife? I do. <laughs> Jamie, do you take Stephen to be your husband? I do. I would like to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Stephen Jamie Phillips. Oh, yeah. We live together. We have a baby together. so long that it almost feels like I didn't know what to expect I was like okay so is it gonna be like just another day like we wake up on a Sunday and do our normal routine or is it gonna be like uh, we're married are we supposed to like act a certain way or something I'm like I guess we'll just be nice to each other or something <laughs> danced the night away and ate and it was a really nice time. It was so fun, so beyond anything that I expected. I mean, we planned it over a year's time and I wanted to pay attention to all the little details and stuff like that, but I had no idea that it would be like it is. Steven and Jamie Felix, it really comes down to one thing. I want you to have a long and beautiful loving marriage. I love you guys. Nice seeing you and everybody in Boa World. Keep watching, keep being, being entertained, stay positive and one thing I've always remembered, Make it happen. What are you doing? Why don't you sit right? I, I swear I'm trying to sit. <laughs> now that Bert's driving. Uh, oh, Eric, you gotta get some more room in your car, man. We were racing home, having a good time, and dancing and singing in the car, and it was all so much fun until. Dun dun dun! I hear bah! But I didn't feel it. By the way, it's a great car. I didn't feel it. <laughs> I think we got a flat tire. So I pulled over and yeah, it wasn't really flat. It was shredded. Yes, another tire. Our third tire this year. We took it all apart and we finally found it. And next thing you know, LJ, who have you seen before in other trips, he knows how to pick up these cars, bring them down, take the tire off. I mean, he's really good at it. He's like a machine, you know? Woo! Woo! This is what they call Alligator Alley for a reason. Oh, the birds are coming for us. We're still alive. Go away. <laughs> They're like, not for long. So he goes, bam, lifts up the car, puts the tire in, bam, everything's perfect. And when we dropped the car, it was flat. <laughs> so we had two flat tires. We're still 100 miles away from home in the middle of the Everglades. We had no cell phone reception. There was no police driving up and down. There was nothing. Ranger. There's no little thingy on there. That's probably why it went flat. Probably. So the road ranger uh, came and he inflated our spare tire and helped us put it on and we we're able to finish getting home. It's good? 60 PSI. Thank you so much. Thank you. And then they gave us a little plastic bag to wrap the tire. So now we put the tire in here, but we had no space for the luggage. So we're going to have to ride with everything open like this. And we shoved everything over here. We had to close the uh, the convertible. 
which we're having so much fun with. You have an amazing time, an amazing thing happens in your life, and then the next day, you're stuck in the middle of nowhere with a flat tire. So just think about it. Life comes in balance. You have to take it as it comes. Hi, I'm Val, and welcome to the family. Make sure to like, comment, and share. And subscribe, of course.